from St. Michael's Place? Not exactly. From Cable 15 TV? Yes, but it's still Jay Cox, as usual. Jay Cox, good to see you, my friend. You Welcome do. back. And uh, uh, we did a little social distancing from St. Michael's Place where you right. came by the office here because yeah. you won't let me in the door. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Part of it, isn't it? Got a few changes going on. That's what we're here to talk about at St. Michael's Place. A lot of change, a lot of changes in the world, but it's spe uh, specifically when, when you're talking about taking care of folks like we do, there's just a lot of regulations that we have to follow. So right. let's talk right. about those changes. Right, with the COVID-19, of course, that's that's uh, something everybody's talking about, about everywhere you go, you know, about any store you go to and any restaurant and any healthcare facility, especially, you're pretty much running into uh, running into the changes. So I, I, there's really not, not a lot I can say that, that everybody don't know about, but uh, specifically to long-term care, um, right now, there's a, a lot of regulations uh, that uh, we are having to, or we've had to, and have already implemented some time ago. Um, and, and this is new to all of us. Sure. You know, th this is a a a, uh, a thing that we have never been through before. Um, but but right now, our uh, our facility is what we call on on lockdown, which which basically means that that our residents are, are not allowed to have any um, outside uh, visitors. That's uh, family members, uh, that's, uh, uh, you know, even uh, uh, other uh, entities like um, hospice, uh, sure. you know, uh, other uh, types of um, uh, appointments and things where they might go to uh, that aren't, um, you know, emergent type situations Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, like uh, alternative appointments and things uh, um, or elective type appointments. Right. You know, like in the healthcare world right now, um, they've canceled a lot of elective surgeries and Absolutely. things like so. So things that aren't uh, emergent right now, all that stuff has been postponed and rescheduled for later time. So same thing in the long-term care facility. So. Uh, in our neck of the woods, we've had to uh, uh, keep our own residents and our facility uh, under the social distancing guidelines as well. So, again, that's six foot apart, just sure. like just like out in the community, six foot apart. All of our uh, employees are wearing masks and gloves, um, and so you know, for the resident, uh, of course, most of them are, are elders. Uh, that's been an adjustment as well because you know they see the employees uh, come in masked up, gloved up, sometimes no, no gowned, recognition, yeah. and uh, and you know they see themselves uh, without a mask, without gloves, and and so you know the first glimpse of that can be frightening, sure. you know, to an elder. You know what's going on? Why is everybody else, you know, and so but you know those masks and things are also available, you know, to the to the resident as well. But so it, it's been a, a mental and an emotional adjustment. One, for the separation from their family, you know, separation from their friends where, you know, many of our residents had daily visitors and, uh, and daily people coming in, checking on them. And so, you know, it's been an adjustment emotionally. Um, you know, we do uh, uh, weekly uh, and sometimes daily screenings to make sure that they're not falling into depression, right? Uh, and uh, because I mean, you've probably heard of this, but the hospitals and physicians are doing a lot of what's called telemedicine, yes, where they can uh, through the through the television, through the internet, uh, they can do um, uh, interviews and uh, diagnose things uh, through the you internet. See a patient, yeah, you through the camera. Literally see a patient, yes, absolutely. Through webcam and through the technology, so uh, we're doing a lot of that uh, uh, to monitor their depression level. And so they can diagnose that and help us keep a monitor on it because, you know, when you're used to seeing your family and friends on a regular basis and then that's all of a sudden cut off, um, you know, that could be tough on... I think that is the toughest thing. I think that's the toughest thing on all of us is not, not, not being able to see those, sure. those old loved ones and then... And, and, uh, uh, and I and didn't mean to interrupt, but it, no, it just fine. triggered that thought in my, you know, where y'all do such an awesome job of, of, of taking the, uh, uh, photographs of folks and, and sending out the messages and, you know, putting mm. them on Facebook and at least, and, and, you know, you can come up to a window and, and it's, it's extraordinary, extraordinary measures during those times that, that we've never seen before, but it's things we've got to do. Sure. We've just got to do and, to make it work. And, and I want to give props to our, uh, uh, activities uh, directors. Of course, we have two. Uh, 
uh, Pam and, and Amanda, they uh, work the, the front part of the building and then the, the back, uh, our memory care unit, they've had to be very creative um, because um, our activities have all been a lot of times centered around group. Now regulation requires, you know, some of our residents that can't come out of their rooms, they're, they're set up on one-on-one -on -one activities already. But uh, most of our activities over the years have been group activities. Well now, groups have to be sure. six foot apart. Absolutely. And regulation has required us to, uh, to you know, confine them to their rooms. Now, there are times that uh, we can have certain activities, you know, in in the bigger spaces that are six foot apart. Now, when the weather's nice, we can take Should them outside, that. you know, and then when the weather was nicer a few days ago before this Blackberry winter hit, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we took them outside and we planted flowers. We did uh, some Easter decorations and things like that before Easter. And, um, and so we're trying to take advantage of all that, but we still, you know, have to maintain the social distancing. And, you know, of course, all that's for safety, you know, and, and I know some of the residents at times may not understand, but it is for their safety. Absolutely. But, you know, the, the thing is, is that having at, at the drop of a hat to come up with new types of activities, um, and so I have give props to them. You know, they've been on sure. the Internet researching things they can do. Um, just today, um, one of our activities director was going through uh, just doing one-on-one -on -one evaluations through each room, um, making sure they were stocked up on puzzle books and things like that, and uh, just so that when they are in their rooms, they have things to do, to do. besides just watch TV. Absolutely. You know, uh, and one of the neat things that we, uh, our company, has established was is a message system, and uh, of course, I'm part of my uh, side job is kind of an IT person, uh, and so anytime that has to do with computers and technology they they always call me whether I know how to do it or not <laughs> they call the assumption me. is the you assumption do. is that I do <laughs> exactly you know and right. I'm not 20 anymore so I'm not I'm not one of the teenagers so I, I get stuck with it or I had to call the real IT there people. you go but uh, anyway we have this messaging system and we went through and uh, we entered in all of our family members um, and um, and if you're watching, you're a family member, and I don't have you, just call me, and I'll get you entered in. So I am human. Sometimes I miss those, but but anyway, and daily we send out uh, a computerized message, and it, it lets uh, people know what's going on at sure. St. Michael's Place. Uh, we can put in daily updates. Um, you know what happened in the activities. Uh, you know if we need this or that, and that it kind of reminds them if if we had uh, you know the. April birthdays today right, and, sure. and, and it tells them, you know, look on Facebook for certain pictures and, and so we, we send out a daily or at least a Monday through Friday message um, each day and it rings to their phone and um, of course, uh, you know, if they don't get the message, uh, there'll always be somebody calls, hey, I missed a call from there. Absolutely. <laughs> but, Absolutely. What but was it? Yeah, sure. Yeah, but it gives us a chance to, to communicate and, you know, one of the big things now is to, to remind us is communication with the families right. because you know they're not able well to they're not there every day like you right. would normally because people are there you know family members come daily a lot right. of family members come daily and, and, mm -hmm. and you see those people daily and you you kind of you don't lose touch but I mean you guys are doing a marvelous job of keeping right. up with other family members that you would normally see and y'all's other family members of the family members that you're taking care of right. and, uh, and our boss has already said, when all this is over, we're going to have us a big cookout. There you go. There you go. Well, I know y'all are doing a great job. <laughs> I know you're doing a great job here, great things. And uh, uh, before we got, get out of here, i got to ask you this. Uh, tell me a little bit about your homeschooling and how, how well your kids are training you on your homeschooling. Uh, well, <laughs> That's what I wanted because they they're both intelligent enough to do so. They are becoming experts at laundry and, and, yes. and washing dishes. Really? And uh, they are about to become experts at picking up the yard, really? picking up sticks. And, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, training. Training, training yes, sessions. Yes. Training they, sessions. They are, understand. They are learning all kinds of good responsibilities. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> Anything else we need to cover on St. Michael's Place? Oh, well, you guys do a wonderful job Jay and uh, well uh, it, it's, it's just a different time and, and in different times you, you have to do different things and that's what we're doing and, and we're doing we're doing things right well all I would ask uh, the community is uh, just to keep us in your prayers our, our staff uh, this is this is just new times for us you know and and uh, in, in times like this we are learning as we go uh, the regulations change sometimes day to day you know we watch uh, 
the governor every day. Sure. Um, we, uh, our administrator stays on top of the changes that come down from the CDC and the Office of Long-Term Care. So uh, what we're doing today may change tomorrow. Um, and so, you know, we're staying on top of ordering supplies. Uh, we have people in the community, and I'll say thank you. To, uh, we have people making us masks sure. um, and, and, and different things. Um, and so with everybody trying to buy sanitizer and buy rubber gloves and or latex gloves and things like that, um, you know, we're having to stay on top of keeping those supplies in. And it's all for the safety of those residents. And, sure. and, and that is the heart of St. Michael's. Uh, number one's always been quality of life and, and health care. Um, but, uh, but, you know, pray for us. Pray for, your, pray for our country. Pray for our leadership in our country. Um, but pray for our staff as well. You know, they, this is new and, and everybody is worried. You know, everybody uh, don't know what's next. But everything's going to be okay. But everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to uh, be all right. The Lord's in control. Absolutely. Jay yes, Cox, always my pleasure to get to see you, sir. Yes, sir. And, and, uh, uh, to visit with you and, and uh, talk about our great residents at St. Michael's Place. We're located at North Pecan Street and uh, get in touch with us if you've got any questions uh, uh, concerning how we're doing things today and uh, we, we'll certainly have some answers for you. Yes. Thank you, my friend.